Always dancing with the bell of the ball kind of comes naturally to this gentleman, Ian Callum. Always <laughs> great to see you. Good morning. And uh, you know why I'm saying that, of course, because uh, you know you always have one of the most discussed cars at any at any motor show. It's the I Pace this time around. Yeah. Uh, you're used to that feeling now. Yeah, we we like to disrupt things a little bit. You know, <laughs> you know what we're like at Jai. Yeah, we like a bit of fun, but we like to just sort of um, push the boat out a little bit and just see what the reaction is. But we 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 embarked on this car maybe you know, three or three or four years yeah. ago. And uh, the design team was up for it, you know, they could see the potential in it. So I'm glad we've done it now. It's, uh, it's going to be quite revolutionary, actually. For the size of vehicle and its attributes, never mind the electric attribute, I mean everything else, um, are you 110% are you happy with the way it looks? Or do you find the fact that it's electric holds you back somewhere? <clears throat> no, the electric vehicle gives an opportunity to design something quite different. Yeah. And, and we designed it from the ground up, you know, we'd had no, we didn't have the constraints, we weren't incumbent with engines and gearboxes. <laughs> A very different ball game, and it just gave us the opportunity to shape it the way it should be shaped and could be shaped. So it hasn't got a long bonnet on it; it's got a short bonnet, and the cabin is given up to to, to occupants more than it would have been. And so it's really a very a car of integrity, actually. And then on top of that, we had to try and wrap a really cool style around it. So we've kind of gone for the cab forward, mid-engine sports car look, you know, where you you forcibly kind of Put the, put the weight towards the front of the car, visual weight towards the front of the car. So it has a dynamic about it. I, I love it. I really do. I love it. And, um, and what, what does it do for you in terms of opening things up for the future? I mean, you're going to obviously have more products which are going to be electrified uh, sooner than we think. Uh, and um, so, yeah, what, what, does this, what, what are the learnings from this for you? Well, I think the first thing on any car like this, it gives you the confidence to know you can do it. And I think this car is going to be compared with some of the other few electric cars in the market of this type. And I think we'll come out very strong in that, that respect. Uh, because, you know, the under, apart from the electric, the underpinnings of this car are pure Jaguar. Mm. And it's a real driver's car, which is great. And that confidence and that learning will lead us on to other electric cars. And I think it's an opportunity for Jaguar to, to embrace the whole electric ethos for the future. Because it is inevitable. You know, and eventually this whole building will be full of electric cars. I'm quite sure of that. But for, for, a, for a, a moment in time, we can take that as our space. And I think that's a great advantage, Jaguar is going to have and it's going to take. And yes, we're working on future electric cars. I can't talk about them, but um, it's, it's just very, very exciting. But we'll have a few internal combustion engines around for a while, especially in the likes of the F-Type. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm relieved to hear you say that, of course. Uh, but you know, having said <clears> that, <throat> the, the fact that this is the first one, the first one off the block for the group, in fact, mm. um, what, what, what do you think that indicates to us? Because obviously it's not just Jaguar that's taking the learnings out of this project. It's going to be Tata, it's going to be Land Rover as well. Well, let me just get to the brand first. You know, for Jaguar to do this is absolutely right. Jaguar historically was about innovation. A lot of people forget this. Mm -hmm. If you think of Jaguar's historic racing days and innovation days in the 50s and 60s, it's always a game changer. The, the racing cars, the E-Type, the D-Types, um, the, uh, the XJ, the first XJ was a game changer. It redefined luxury cars. And so we're getting back to our mojo again of what we're about, this sense of innovation. And so Jaguar is the right brand to lead that amongst the Tata group. And of course, the other brands will learn off this and perhaps we'll see you know, uh, variations on, uh, on this platform or other platforms based on the technology that we've learned. But, but Jaguar will lead this, there's no doubt about it. That's, no, that's exciting actually, and you're right. I, I think from my perspective as well, I almost appreciate that fact. Um, one last thing, uh, happy with the reception to the E-Pace. I mean, over here it's getting a little bit forgotten because the I-Pace is taking centre stage, but it's still the new car, it's still yes, getting out Yes, you know, there. the timing's everything is the same. Perhaps they've a little bit too close together, but overall the E-Pace has been hugely well received, um, and it's appealing to customers that have never even considered Jaguar before, not just because of the, the price point, because of the size of the car. I'm a great lover of smaller cars. I think cars need to be usable, especially in urban areas. And this E-Pace uh, is one that fits that perfectly. And if you're not bold enough or, you know, to, to go for the electric car, I think the E-Pace is a great alternative. Uh, I'm actually getting one myself, so uh, I like the car that much. We've spoken about this before, but now seeing three and not one, mm. the Pace family, still room to grow. Because we spoke about it and you had said, look, yeah. the potential is to go both ways. Yeah, there's still, we, 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 we spoke about it, we said potential to go down, which we've done with E-Pace. Yeah. There's, there's potential to go sideways with the I-Pace, of course. 
and there's potential to go up, but we'll have to wait and see how that goes. But there's no doubt about it. You know, the Pace family and SUVs or crossovers in particular, it's a growing sector and we have to take advantage of it. You know, that's where our volume is now. So it would be crazy not to look at alternatives. Yep. Well, I know, and I'm going to keep us busy, which is always good. Thank you. And, um, and congrats. Thank you very much. Thank you. Always, always great. Thank you.